Let's -a go. Hey guys, what's going on? Ninja Reviewer right here to review One Punch Man episode number five. Now, this is actually a very simple episode of One Punch Man, but once again, it's another outstanding episode, man. Like, again, this this right here is definitely anime of the year for me. I think I found my, my, my wiener, not my wiener, but winner of animes of the year. Granted, I love Stardust Crusaders as Egypt Dark. The continuation of that was definitely that. And Assassination Classroom is pretty good. Uh, Fairy Tale back on canon is looking pretty nice. Um, of course, My Little Pony Season 5. But this right here, I would say, is like the winner of just like pure awesomeness, random, and just straight out just freaking hilariously funny. But regardless, though, this is One Punch Man Episode 5. Pretty much we see Saitama and Ganos are finally in the hero exams, and they finally take it. Um, Saitama actually gets C rank hero instead of S rank like Genos because he pretty much answered all the questions that were in the exam right. But besides the physical stuff, he did really great on the knowledge test as well. While Saitama is pretty much more for his brute strength and pretty much more for that you know that one you know one final shot punch rather than just basically you know a lot of knowledge and things and crap like that. So that's why well he still passed the hero exam. He still passed it. But he got like a little more of a C ranking hero rather than S with Burginos. And then we got this other dude, which uh, uh, I forget his name real quick. Oh, Sweet Mask, that was his name. And then we see pretty much Sweet Mask, you know, Sweet Talk, um, Genis into actually welcoming him to the whole, you know, class of superheroes pretty much. Pretty much welcoming him to like the League of Superheroes pretty much. Like now he's actually part of the club and stuff. And then we had this, like, one examiner, which his name is, uh, Snick, even though he sounds like Snake, like the dude, and pretty much he's just like this guy, like, oh, I am a true, awesome, A-ranking hero, and I am going to be your, your, you know, your, um, your teacher, your sensei, you have to listen to me, you know, you have to get this knowledge right, you act like this in your attitude, you're not gonna, you know, it's typical shit like that, it's like, dude, shut the hell up, even he tried to actually challenge Saitama, and you know, showing up his awesome martial arts skills, which were pretty hype, but then Saitama was like, get the fuck out of here, so then, we see that there's another exam, which is actually a physical, actual battle challenge exam, where we see Saitama and Genos battling it out, and oh my freaking god, God, that fight was amazing. Oh, oh my God. Studio Madhouse for the win, man. Oh my fucking Lord. This fight was so, so awesome. So funny yeah. too, but like incredibly... Oh, Jackie, come on. Stop drinking blood. But um, yeah, but it was just like, oh my God. Like, oh. All right. So we see that Genos is like, okay, you know the rules. You can't hold back or anything. You have to give me your fullest strength. And so then we see Saitama and Genos. The speed and the clashes that these guys did were just ridiculous. Genos is actually getting closer to becoming on Saitama's level. Not like 100%, but maybe like close to 85, 90-something percent. Like, oh my god, like... When he basically was just like, just well, at first, Saitama was just dicking around with him. He was like, Oh, yeah, tag your it, and then it's like, boom, and he just like finger, finger flicks him and shits like that. So then, like, you know, he gets all serious. And we see Saitama, he actually almost got damaged. He's like, Oh, yeah, he, he actually almost like burned my entire suit there for a sec because you know, his, his is pretty much all made of a uh, magma. So then it's like, Come on, like, look, Saitama, look, Sensei, you know, I'm gonna become your Sensei, look, just be serious, okay. I don't want to fight. I don't want to be digging around. I want to actually get serious. So he asked for it and he's like, okay, if, if that's what you really want. It's like, okay. So then we see him. Again, also his action was about the strike. We see just like Saitama, like fucking mad serious and shit. And then Ganos like fears his powers. Like, oh. he's like fucking like looking at him like the fist is really giant. Like to him in his vision at least. And it has the markings of the word kill. And it's like, oh shit. So, hey, you asked for a serious strength. You did. The force of that power alone made... I'm surprised Genos did not shit himself from that. Like, literally, 
Like, he just stopped in tracks, and he was like, yeah, never mind. Like, okay, good job. And it's like, shit, like... But, oh, man, like, the cla- like the fucking, like, the speed of these motherfuckers, like, the dynamics, like, the dodging, like, especially Genos. Genos was, like, also, a, like, another valuable fighter in this. Oh, my God. Like, the massive... Yo, this dude was buffing up and shit. Like, he's got so much transformations. Like, you see this one where he has, like, a whole bunch of fucking guns and shit, like, out of his thing. And it's, like, and he's shooting, like, all these lava fucking lasers. I'm like, oh, my God. Like... Saitama just like his dodging skills were, were, were just too MLG for him, of, of course, because Saitama is, is too god tier for him. But he actually did almost get damaged from him. Like, shit, I almost got burned there. Like, he wasn't, he, you could tell Genos was not fucking around, but oh man, like, mm. like, this fight alone, like, just seeing those two, like, the fucking speed and the movements of the fight was done so beautifully, so drastically. It was just amazing. So. Then we see at the very end of the episode, we see that uh, Genos is actually going to move in with Saitama because, like, oh, look, I got rent money. Because I guess it's the little talk that he had with Sweet Mask saying that, like, you know, if you, if you want to become... I guess after that little talk, that basically it's like, look. And then, like, Genos is like, look, you guys need to shut up. These tests were just a joke, at least to me. They were ridiculous. Like, anyone, it looks like anyone and anybody could just be, like, a hero from these things. It's not really the most like, hardest thing in the world, like, you're treating me like it was a struggle, like, to me, like, it really wasn't, it was easy, and then he's like, alright, well, that's the case, and welcome aboard, but then at the end, we find out that I guess for that little confidence, like, you know what, we're gonna show him, so I'm gonna live with you, and then Saitama's like, no, you can't live with me, and he's like, well, I got rent money, like, for real, I got, like, a whole bunch of rent money, it's like, well, like, I think that ain't changes his mind, and I think that's pretty much, like, where the entire episode ends off. So, overall, this episode was just... Now we see that they're pretty much going to be qualified. And they need a name for themselves. Like, I'm really hoping... I guess this is how he's going to get the name One Punch Man, Saitama, which I think, maybe... Don't spoil me on that if I'm actually right on that. I could be right, I could be wrong, but... Maybe, but... Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I enjoyed the living hell of this episode. Again, a phenomenal 5 out of 5 episode. Dramatic animation, like always. Progression. And now we see that Saitama and Genos, they are in. They are ready to finally become full-class heroes. And they're ready, to, you know, to also make a name for themselves. Since Saitama really wants to make a name for himself so everyone can recognize him. Like, everyone recognizes Sweet Mask and... Not so much of Genos, well, baby, kind of, but not not really as much. But regardless, though, outstanding episode. Once again, my house, a fifth episode in a row, and it's already outstanding. Like, I can't see nothing really wrong. Get straight through. I was not disappointed. Like, oh, man, episode six, man, through through, man, I don't know. This is, wow, this is one hell of a ride for me so far. But give me your guys' your thoughts in the comment section below of this week's episode of One Punch Man. And also, you are you guys ready for episode 6? It's weird. I really wish there were so images to get you hyped for the preview for the next episode. Even though it's just, like, monologue from the previous people we saw in the episode and stuff like that. But regardless, though, um, yeah, so that's it. Give me your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's basically it. So, I am the Ninja Reviewer. Over now. Peace out. And anyway, manga fans, keep supporting what you mean and what you watch. And I will see you guys for episode 6.